<laughs> Who are you? Isn't it obvious? No. <sighs> I'm a computer virus, and if you don't hand over a million dollars, your files will be gone. I'm a kid. Where am I going to get a million dollars? Well, you better get used to seeing me around then. No. So this might not be what a real computer virus looks like, but recently something just as scary popped up on computer screens right around the world. It was called WannaCry. Oh, so where did this virus come from? Some people reckon a super secretive US government department called the National Security Agency, or NSA, is to blame. One of the things they do is go through computer and phone software to find mistakes they could use to spy on people. Once found, the NSA holds onto them to use later. But unfortunately, one of these mistakes was leaked online. It got into the wrong hands and WannaCry was born. Oh, OK. So how does a computer get it? One way it happened is hackers sent out a bunch of emails with dodgy links or attachments. When people clicked on them, the software was downloaded and locked up all the files on their computer. It didn't allow them back on unless they paid a ransom of about 400 Aussie dollars. It eventually spread through other computers on the same network and infected them too. So far, WannaCry has hit more than 300,000 computers in 150 countries. The virus was bad news for anyone, but it was especially bad for government organisations, businesses and hospitals. Some hospitals in the UK were temporarily shut down, patient records were blocked and some operations had to be postponed. It's inconvenient, very frustrating. I think it's a heinous crime, this hacking, because we're putting, they're putting um, people's lives at risk. Even a few businesses here in Australia were affected by the attack. Did all of those people lose their files? Some people had their files backed up so they could get them back without paying the ransom. Some people decided to pay the ransom though, and others did end up losing their files. Whoa, do we know who's behind it? Some reckon it was a group of hackers. Others say it might have been a foreign government trying to cause a bit of trouble, but no one really knows. What we do know though, is this young guy is pretty popular right now because he helped stop the virus from spreading. I've had people sort of inundating me with messages thanking me, saying that I'm a hero. I mean, I sort of just registered this domain for tracking and I didn't intend for it to like sort of blow up and me to be all over the media. How awesome is that? But could all this happen again someday? Well, experts are working really hard to make sure it doesn't. But they say there are things businesses and organisations can do to protect their computers. For example, they can make sure their operating system is up to date, install the latest virus software, keep a backup of files, and always think twice before opening anything that looks a little dodgy, or something that looks a lot dodgy, like this.